the events you are about to witness are based on a true story. Mr. Bingman. This. You know the, the chalk we need for tomorrow's lab? Yeah, it came just in time. <laughs> yeah, except that it's polka dot chalk. Yeah, I think it's pretty. <sighs> We're supposed to be teaching the difference between a substance and a mixture. And chalk is our example of a substance. Right. But this is polka dot chalk. And so? So, if it were a substance, it would be the same all the way through. Uh-huh. This has got polka dots. It's a mixture. I don't really understand. This is garbage. Hey, Mr. Bingman, I'm still a little bit confused about the lesson we have to teach tomorrow. Can you explain it to me? Sure. Let me show you. I've got the microscope right here. Um, we were looking at the, the difference between chalk and sand, because chalk is a good example of a substance, and sand is a good example of a mixture. But we had the polka dot chalk show up mm -hmm. in our shipment. So if I show you that under the microscope, when we look at the polka dot chalk under the microscope, we can see different colors in different places. White, where there is just plain chalk, and orange, where there are particles of orange dye. Polka dot chalk is a mixture of chalk and orange dye. The chalk you should have gotten should have been all white. Okay. Take a look at what that looks like. Under the microscope, white chalk appears white all the way across. Everywhere you look, it has the same properties. This is because it only has one type of molecule. So you see, that's a, that's a substance. Sand, on the other hand, is a mixture, if you look at it real closely. Under the microscope, you can see that the sand has different properties in different places where you look. This is because sand is a mixture. It is a mixture of several different substances. Oh, I, I can see. So, a substance is made of only one type of matter all the way through. That's why chalk is a good example of a substance. It's only composed of chalk particles. I can make a connection to this. In Ireland, there's a place called the White Cliffs of Dover, and it's cliffs of pure chalk. In the picture, I can see that the entire cliff is all white, and it's all chalk, just one substance. I also can understand what a mixture is now. A mixture is made of more than one type of substance, and the combination of substances can be different. The polka dot chalk wasn't right for our lab if it was to be used as an example as a substance because it didn't contain the same type of particles all the way through. It had both chalk particles and particles of orange dye. This polka dot chalk is a much better example of a mixture.